Streets. All right, all right. How is everyone doing today? Thank you for tuning in for Newtown Welcomes on Newtown Radio. My name is Tane Velez. I just kind of put together like a, a, a subpar type of mix right before our very special guest. He's joining us right now. He just arrived. Eli Fola, how are you doing today? I can't. Can you speak again? Oh, no problem. No problem. I don't know what's going on with the mics right now. Let me see if I can get this one. All right. Talking to talking to this one for the meantime, if you can. Yo, yo, yo. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. There we go. How's great, it going? Great. How's it going? I'm great. Dude, thank you for coming in for this, dude. It's a super, super great time. Um, Really excited to hear some of the music that you've been playing. Um, yeah. One of the things that really got me into you specifically was um the the covid techno mix that you did yeah. which i thought was like super one of i think one of your my uh favorite project uh mixes that you put together yeah. for me. i mean there's a little bit of bias there but you understand <laughs> but yeah i mean um like where where did you where did you start off with like um music background like where okay. because I saw you were playing the sax in one of your yeah, videos yeah um so I was born in Nigeria uh -huh. Lagos Nigeria West Africa uh huh and I moved to New York eleven years ago as two thousand and nine okay yeah. and I've always been a musician you know I come from a family of musicians. Uh -huh. My grandfather plays um, the drums, the traditional African drums. It's called a talking drum. Okay. And so all my uncles, they play that same drum. So I started music actually from the church. And, you know, I played, uh, I started as a drummer. And eventually I moved to playing the piano. And I just fell in love with the saxophone. The saxophone was like the, the instrument I loved so much. So I started <laughs> playing the saxophone when I was about 13, 14 in Nigeria. And... Yeah, so fast forward, I relocated to the U.S. <laughs> so, and I discovered ele electronic music. And prior to, like, discovering electronic music and, like, um, um, playing house and techno, I used to be in a live band. But as soon as I discovered house, I was just like, damn, this is something I would really want to explore further. And uh -huh. I just kind of, like, you know, immersed myself in the music and started looking at different artists, looking at the roots of the music, like techno. I did a research and I know that, okay, techno is music that started from Detroit, created by, you know, black dudes, um, <laughs> Derek May, yeah, yeah, Kevin yeah. Sanderson. Legends, Atkin, legends, absolutely. You know, yeah. like legends, like Jeff Mills. You know, I just started doing my th research <laughs> and I, you know, got deep deeper into the music it's funny you say it's it, it, it's actually funny you say uh jeff mills because you played the bells in that yeah. mix that you yeah. had which is a fun which is always a classic where you yeah, do, do 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 yeah, a classic techno. so you came to new york 11 years ago yeah what he what was it here that got you into electronic music um is actually the way i actually got into electronic music i would say it's just the internet just searching and like uh, discovering new music it's actually funny. And, I have the same way. And, yeah. Yeah. And also, like, the first encounter actually I have with um, House was by a DJ called Osola Day. Uh huh. I think it's from, if I'm not too, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's from New Orleans or something. Uh, no, and, no one's going to kill you on the details. <laughs> don't, worry, don't worry about the DJ. Yeah, yeah. But okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, I listened to his um, YouTube mix and I, is as an Afro House vibe. But a lot of his um, sound has a lot of like drum pattern that really resonated with me. Uh -huh. So I started like, you know, doing more research on the, on the music and yeah. You, you definitely, you definitely hear a lot of that in, um, in, uh, um, soundscapes to free, uh, to freedom. To freedom. Yeah. It, it's very, very bizarre. What I really, really liked about this project. Um, I think midnight blue is one of my, is that midnight what it's fall. midnight fault? My apologies. Yeah. My apologies. <laughs> my apologies. Um, just the airiness and the the amount of space you give yeah. every instrument on each track is just very very well designed and stuff like that and it's not like when when i when i'm producing music i'm usually yeah. trying to see what is missing areas you know yeah. what is like it's like ooh this doesn't sound good if it uh we need something here it just sounds empty yeah. you're able to just get the reverb perfectly you're able yeah. to get the eq perfectly um on all, all, all of those tracks, all, Thanks. all of those tracks. But um, tell me, tell me a little bit something about uh, Soundscapes of Freedom. The title, what yeah. does it mean, and everything. So Soundscape to Freedom is actually a, a project I put together like 
two, three months ago uh-huh. during the height of the you know COVID-19 pandemic. Uh-huh. And also like a lot of stuff was going on. Like there was like a lot of protests, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like the Black Lives Matter movement and just like a lot I was seeing on the inst- Instagram and internet, like, you know, so it's kind of like, a, for me, it's like a letter of like escape to like, you know, damn, like I'm a black man living in America. I want to be free and I want to this to like resonate with other everybody and like other you know black it's, people it's listening the, to the music like you know like okay we want freedom in a way it's it's very <laughs> modern the type of style that you're going for and yeah. the theme that you have reoccurring on yeah. the um on the on the soundtracks actually really it's it, it, it's just everything's just lining up because this this is honestly you've been here for 11 years i've i've born and raised in new york yeah this is this is fucking wild this is wild what i'm seeing like in new york right now and I, I I wish the best for like fucking everybody. I want everybody to be safe. Is that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But absolutely, absolutely. Um, you said it only took you two to three months. Yeah. So before, so here's the thing. You know, in the beginning of the year, we all have plans of like, yo, we of things we want to do. I'm sure. I'm sure you have plans of like things you want to do for the year. And yeah, I yeah. actually have an old album ready. And the title of that album was actually supposed to be Yoruba Tech Soul. So introduce people to my sound, my old vibe of like what I'm, you know, doing just like my home perspective to electronic music. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So, and I just have to like, I'm still going to release the album at some point, yeah. but I just got to like let that album be and just like release something that speaks to the time right now. Uh-huh. So Soundscape to Freedom is that project that I feel like, you know, speaks to what is happening right now in America, what is happening in my life and like with everything going on. I just want to... How long? Put it out there. How long does it usually take you to like finish like a, a complete track, like finalize Hon- everything? Honestly, like so, I have a studio in my basement. Okay, so we are, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think okay, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's <laughs> I just literally just like be in the studio. Like literally, I make most of the track within a day or two. Like I just you know stay in the studio and just like finish making the track. And, I'll get the core idea out. Yeah. I'll get the the core of the idea <laughs> out first before like, hey, maybe we need to work on these elements and these yeah. elements and these elements. But hey, um, I don't want to take up most uh, any more of your time. Let me let you get started. Okay. Um, you're more than welcome to get started. I gotta talk to the the, the listeners for a few more minutes, okay, so no you problem. can jump up whenever you feel like it. Okay. But yeah, I mean, listen, thank you for joining us today, and I'm really excited thank for your you. mix thank right you very now. Much. Um, Eli Folo, everybody. Seriously, we're going to get to enjoy an hour of his mix. If you do like Eli, um, anything he does, um, you can follow him on Instagram, Eli.Fola. Um, you can follow me, uh, Newtown Welcomes, um, also Saint.Velez. And also, you have to throw a drop down for, um, for Newtown Radio. If you, obviously, if you're listening to the station right now, hopefully you're following them on Instagram. But the other thing is, um, the last thing to do uh, to cover pretty much is Soundscape to Freedom. Definitely go listen to it. It's on Spotify. Um, I'm I'm a big techno guy. I'm a I'm a very very big techno guy. I I think like the first twenty to minutes of my set today is all techno. I usually don't mess with this stuff. I love this. I I love this project from Eli. So enough from me. Let's let's get started with Eli. This is uh, Newtown Welcomes. Enjoy. The so-called Americans ask the new acquisitions where this song comes from. Our ancestors replied, our sound is a foreign god enslaved to eternal darkness trying to call her children home. It arises from the suicide swimming to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. We jump ship to form a wall in titanic slave trade. In mighty defeat, we ended up swallowing an entire body of troubled water. We drank God's blues. Tried to lick the ocean's wounds clean. We sing from the souls of the earth. The sound you so desperately want is a high you're too entitled to pray for. A low you ain't had to survive. And you'll never have it, because you ain't had to die for it. That soul power, that sound wave that we 
we've known all along. Blackness be divine, and we are swarming this celestial hive, dripping thick of ancestral honey. We must protect this magic as we embark on the journey of self-love. Be self-identified, self-validate, selflessly reclaim, say our own names. The world is a wide grave and black folks resurrect every day. Remember, there is no turning back, God. Once you know who you are, you can never forget. And once they know who you are, they can never fathom. So position yourself at the rhythmic intersections of joy. Dispensing love is the only invention we acknowledge. Speak truth to power. Tell the world to settle in. Cause we will not settle down until they settle up. The reckoning is here. Mouths open, heads back and arms up, the margins are over, we need room to dance, to put the move in the movement, and if the black minds are free, if the black mind is free, Tenements. Now who gon' fill in what they left out? God? Huh. 
Before God was assigned a gender And Jesus sold for an agenda Mother Africa was full-figured and healthy Sun God is shaped in gold A mirror reflection of the sky Fertile and natural The type of resource you gotta get your hands on And so they did And they still can't get enough
right, all right, all right. Eli Bola, everybody. Jesus Christ. What a yeah, set. Yeah. What a set. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. This Thanks. is awesome. Thanks for having me. Did you, did you have a good time and everything? Yes, I did. Just my vibing. This is what I love to do, you know. Perfect, yeah. perfect. No, I was I was actually really excited to have you on, and it's uh, it, it was really good. I was actually really, you have like a very good afterlife style to you. You have a very right. interesting type of um, that's probably gonna fucking take you far. You ha you have a really good style. To you. I really you. do like it. Um, we're just wrapping up the show right now. Um, this is the end. We'll really appreciate you coming out. Um, is there anything last minute plugs uh, do you want to throw in? Um, yeah, my new EP is out now. You know, of course. Check it out on all streaming platforms. Soundscapes of Freedoms. Go listen to it right now. Camp. Go buy it. Yes. Support your local artist. Perfect, perfect, <laughs> perfect. I don't have any much more to say. Uh, we're going to be back for Halloween. Um, Halloween does fall on a Saturday. Also, I'm having a party tomorrow if you're in Brooklyn. I host a bi-weekly <laughs> party in Brooklyn. So Probably safe. Make sure you DM yeah, yeah, for details. Hey, I don't know if we should be advocating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the, I don't know if that's the move yet. I don't think it, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just kidding. And we have um, a sanitizer. We have a oh, perfect, perfect. temperature perfect. check at the door. Listen, yeah. uh, listen. <laughs> I definitely want to have you back in the studio. Do you like it here? I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 the vibe, is, I definitely would love to come back. Absolutely. We will, yeah. We're going to do this more and more often. We're going to have like a schedule booking yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. 2021 is going to be not only everyone else's year, yeah. but it's going to definitely be uh, good for Newtown Radio as well. Okay. I mean, like even we have like this flip phone right here. I don't know what this is for, Okay. but I'm going to be honest. This is going to go missing real quick. Yeah. This is hard as shit. It's hard as shit. All right, let me wrap up. We're going to wrap up the show right now. Um, we're going to let this song play out. Coming up next on Newtown Radio, um, Hone uh, with uh, uh, Lorena, I believe. Lorena? Yeah, no, Lenora. My apologies. Anyway, Eli, once again, Thanks for thank me. you so much for coming in for this. Pleasure. This was a fun time. My name is St. Velez. I'm going to let this song play out, and you guys have a great Saturday. Thank you.